funky intro. What do you think of this intro? I don't know. It's entertaining. I, 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 I always love the MSL OSL intros, although I would like to see them underwater. Anyway, hi everybody. This is Ranch and alongside Varosh. I'm Varosh and I don't know why I said it in that order. And today we're going to be doing the first, the second set of Effort versus Calm. Um, I didn't actually watch the first set, so Ranch can give you a uh, quick recap of that. Yeah. <laughs> Calm kind of ended up stomping on Effort, even though Effort, you know, he played a good game, but Calm with his uber intelligence somehow just, well, knocked his face in. I'm expecting a pretty good ZVZ from these guys. Effort, statistically speaking, I believe he is the second best ZVZ player right now, just behind Jadong. But Calm, despite having not shown, like, in immense, insane skills, he is pretty good, pretty good. And there that sign says to me, you are perfect. Don't quite know about that, but he's been showing some very good play. He's kind of snuck up on the leaderboards in the Pro League, to give you guys an example. He was, I believe, fifth right behind Lita. You had, you know, Jadong, Flash, Beast at the top, followed by Lita, and then Calm in the fifth position with, I believe, 40 wins, which just kind of snuck up on there on the leaderboards, and be doing a pretty good job. So I'm really excited to see how these guys do. And Effort, you know, he has to pick up his play to beat Calm here, or else he's going to get stomped on yet again. Count over sinking. Four, three, two, one, go. So I'm just gonna let Varosh babble about positions and colors, and then give it, give his thoughts on the map. All right. So yeah, we've got common brown, which leaves effort in blue. Although uh, his name was in Korean, so I just had to use the process of elimination there. We're on Carthage three, and we've got. Uh, it's a two-player map, so obviously the players know where they are. And on a map like God's Garden, a 12-hatch would be uh, probably more favorable. But on a map like this, uh, the natural expansion isn't that easy to take down. So I'd expect both players to go for either a 9-pool or an over-pool or a 12-pool. Uh, but a 12-hatch just doesn't seem like such an intelligent move because uh, it would, of course, be easily scouted. There's no chance that... <laughs> that the other player's not going to see it, because of course they know where you are. Um, so I think we're going to see some early Zerglings and some early awesome micro. Yeah, unless one of these guys decides that he, you know, can play like Jadong, because Jadong is the only guy I've seen go for 12 hatch against the 9 pull on a 2 player map and come up victorious. And not even against a player like Hyuk. Um, right, let's not go into the, the Hyuk hate here, but. Uh, but yeah, basically we're just going to see what these guys go for here. I'm not seeing overpull coming in from Effort. He's been going for a lot of 9 pulls lately. I've really seen him do a lot of that. He's not going for anything of the sort for so far. But on the opposite side, I believe it was an over... I think it was an overpull. Might have even been a 9 pull coming in from Calm, just getting his early extractor. See, he, he's definitely going to go. And Effort's actually going to go for the risky, risky 12 hatch from what it seems. So he's going to try to get a huge economic boost. But I could, if indeed, I believe Calm did go for a 9 pull. So this could already be a build order win right, right out of the gates. And this is pretty, pretty bad. Yes, in theory, this is a build order win for Com. But uh, if Jadong has shown us anything in the last few months, it's that there is no such thing as a build order win in Zerg versus Zerg. Uh, but effort, effort's going to have a very late spire in comparison to Com, and he's even going to have Zerglings later. Uh, Com might be able to get in and do some drone damage. Effort's really going to have to be just on top of his micro. Uh, <laughs> Um, to, he, like, he's going to have an economic boost and he's going to have an extra hatchery, but everything else, in his, his Zerglings and his Mulus are just going to be so much later. It's going to be a very difficult struggle t for him uh, to stay in this game while he's waiting for that economic boost to kick in. I find it really weird that Effort actually decided to go for this very risky build. I mean, he's won game under. He needs to take a win. I feel an overpull would have been much, much safer. Pretty much the safest build, in my opinion. In ZVZ, overpull is kind of like the... Optimum safe build to go for. It doesn't put you too behind economically, but still gives you an opportunity to take down a base in case you want to. Effort now, just now, going to be spawning in Zerglings as more Zerglings are going to be running at his natural expansion. He's forced to pull off the drones. He's going to be meeting Zerglings head on, and this already puts him in such a horrible position. Not even going to be able to block Calm at the entrance. So even pulling these drones off the line with the only thing they're not really going to be able to do much. Try to hold off for as long as possible. Already loses one drone. Second drone almost goes down. A couple of Zerglings pop, but they're not going to be able to be too effective. 
Calm still using his Zergans pretty well, running in behind, trying to keep him alive. We're going to see what actually decides to go for speed. I think he still has all of his Zergans alive, but still in a horrible position. Going to be able to run around. More reinforcements are on the way. So, Effort's going to have to reinforce very, very quickly to even have a shot of not losing all of his drones or his natural expansion. It looks like uh, to me that Effort just might come out of this. He's got his drones fighting, um, which is b certainly bad for his economy, and I believe he's only lost one or two drones up until this point. Um, uh, it might be that Effort can defend this, although there's a huge amount of Zerglings just surrounding his natural expansion hatchery, and it looks like that oh, that's almost going to go down. It's at 200 HP. It's in the blue. It's in the blue, but the Zerglings have turned around to fight Effort Zerglings. Uh, just, and... And, oh, all of effort Zerglings get taken down, so just a great bit of uh, decision-making for, for Kam turning around and fighting those Zerglings. So not only can he finish off the hatchery, but also take down all the Zerglings and two more drones. This looked like it could be GG in an instant for Kam, for effort. Uh, he's, he's lost so many drones that Kam also, pro in addition to having a tech advantage, uh, also probably has an economic advantage at this point. And yeah, there looks like there's nothing for effort. Effort popping the last couple of Zerglings, both have speed at this point. As you can see, of course, Effort has not a Spire, I mean, no Spire, no Lair even on the way. Nothing really, just has to sp spawn drones and spawn Zerglings, and no chance. Even if he somehow manages to hold this off, which I assume he might actually do, because I'm not seeing Calm popping any more Zerglings, at least not a large amount, but as soon as those Mutalists come in, that's going to be GG from him instantly at that point. Overlord just flying around. So Calm apparently finally abandoning his strategy. They're just running his Zerglings back. Still has a pretty large... So he might even manage to finish this before. Still popping quite a few Zerglings. Still only sitting on one bait, just waiting for his larva to pop in it so he can get his mutas going. So Evo Chamber alongside a creep colony coming here from Effort. This is at this point just whatever he can do to try to survive, but I'm not really seeing that happening. Yeah, so if Kam can't win this game with Zerglings, he's going to win it with Mutalus, and if he can't win it with Mut Mutalus, if the spore goes up, like, just in time, he's still going to be able to, to have superior map control and take an expansion of his own. And it looks like Effort's making a, a, an all-in attack with his Zerglings, and he's actually going to get in and do a decent amount of drone harassment, uh, but the Mutalus are just about to come come out, and GG! Uh, He's not even waiting for the mutals to come out, and there they are. I guess that was a kind of a dignity thing, like, I need to take down one drone in this game or I look humiliated. But yeah, Kam takes the 2 nothing advantage. Beautiful game, beautiful game. Just one game away. I mean, I'm sure for everybody, Effort was the heavy favorite due to the dominating play has been shown lately, but Kam's shown that there's a reason he was number 5 in the leaderboards in the Pro League over the entire season. So we're going to see whether he finishes Effort off in the next game or whether Effort actually finally starts to fighting back. So thanks, Varosh, for joining me. Bringing guys next commentary of GG Guys, Ranchin and Varosh out.